Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this absolutely beautiful 2018 Infinity Q50 Lux all-wheel drive. Very nicely equipped with features. Recently retired out of our loaner car service fleet. The way that works is uh, we'll pluck a new car out of our inventory and we'll put it in loaner car service so it'll be loaned out to our Infinity service customers. One of the benefits of buying a new Infinity or a certified pre-owned one like this is you get a complimentary Infinity loaner car uh, for extended service or repairs. Uh, one of the many benefits of owning a new or certified pre-owned Infinity. Um, so this basically was in our loaner fleet for about a year and after a year it's retired. It only has 8,313 miles. It's certified pre-owned so you get all the benefits you normally do of a new Infinity. Uh, really nice color combination in black on black. And very well equipped with features. Originally this had an MSRP of close to $51,000. Um, it has the Pro Assist package, which gives you blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, backup collision intervention, around view monitor with moving object detection, front and rear parking sensors, uh, predictive forward collision and forward emergency braking. And then you have a sensory package that gives you the Bose Performance Series 16 speaker sound system, uh, upgraded leather pointed seating versus leatherette, power uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel, dual occupant memory uh, for a driver's seat, an advanced climate control system that cleans and filters uh, the air and enhanced interior ambient lighting and auto dimming outside mirrors. Um, and then it's got a few other goodies on it as well. If you want a full list of those features or a copy of that original window sticker, we can provide that for you. Beautiful wood interior trim. Love this nice contrast stitching they have throughout the interior. Um, as well as on the uh, dashboard. 2018 is a great year for the Q50 because it got an interior and exterior revision, including that leather, uh, synthetic leather and stitching on the dashboards, new for 18, uh, new design on the gear shifter, uh, new steering wheel design. This is actually the same uh, steering wheel you get in the Q60 Coupe. Uh, we have a dual display system. The Q50 is actually one of the first vehicles, production vehicles, to have a dual display system. The top screen is for navigation. Rear parking camera. Uh, this has the around view monitor, so it's a 360 degree around view uh, monitor, get around view camera. You can change view, there's a nice side view. You can see the curb, your wheels, so there won't be any excuse for you curbing up those beautiful wheels. Then there's a wide angle view, which is uh, good for tight uh, parking situations. The bottom screen is the tablet-like interface uh, for vehicle settings and apps. You can operate the climate control settings, uh, change vehicle settings, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, lots of cool stuff, driver's assistance uh, settings, um, really cool features on this Q50. And as I mentioned before, only a tad over 8,000 miles on it. Infinity all season floor mats, which are almost a must in our climate. Carpeted floor mats in our wet rainy weather just have a tendency to get destroyed fairly quickly. So I highly recommend anyone have all season mats. Luckily, you're not gonna have to pay extra for them because this one has them. The Q50 is built on the advanced front midship platform. The reason why they call it the advanced front midship platform is they take the engine and they place it as far behind the front axle as possible. So it's almost like a mid-engine vehicle. Um, so they place this engine as far back as possible. And the reason why they do that, that moves the center of gravity towards the center of the vehicle. Um, and the reason why they do that is because when the uh, center of gravity is towards the middle, you have close to, uh, perfect 50-50 weight distribution as possible. It's going to allow that car to rotate on its axis and improves the handling to the corners. And um, this is a performance car, so you definitely want to enjoy that amazing handling and it definitely delivers. It actually shares its advanced front midship platform, the Q60 Coupe, and the Nissan 370Z, which is a serious uh, two-seat sports car. Um, and with a sport, uh, sporty a sports car DNA baked into this Q50, you'll really have a lot of fun driving it. But it's also a luxury car, and of course you can see lots of luxurious features. It is considered a compact vehicle, but interior space is not too shabby. I'm six foot two. And the front seat adjustment for my height, I'm comfortably sitting back here. I can tell you there's a lot of vehicles uh, that compete with the Q50 that are not as generous as far as the rear seat legroom goes, and I would be a lot more uncomfortable. So if you have rear occupants that ride with you, you do Uber or Lyft, um, this is a great car to do it in. And also the uh, rear doors open 
pretty wide as well where some the competition the rear doors might open that much infinity gives you a little bit more of a wider entry and exit just making it easier to get in and out of the back seat uh, trunk mat still has the original first aid kit this one has intelligent all-wheel drive why does it have intelligent drive and how does it work? Well, the way it works is when all-wheel drive is not needed, 100% of the power is gonna to go to the rear wheels. And they do that for a number of reasons. Uh, one, as I mentioned before, this is a performance car and rear-wheel drive cars generally are more fun to drive. They offer better performance. That's why you don't usually see Lamborghini or Ferrari making front-wheel drive cars. Usually there's not too many purpose-built front-wheel drive race cars because rear-wheel drive is better for performance. So with that 100% rear-wheel drive bias that improves the sporty feel of this Q50. It also helps with premature tire wear and uh, it helps improve gas mileage by having that 100% rear-wheel drive default. Because uh, the roads are dry right now, so under normal driving conditions, why would you want that all-wheel drive system constantly working, sapping gas mileage and uh, sapping away uh, your tires prematurely? So you have that 100% default to the rear wheels, but this uh, Q50 has an advanced uh, all-wheel drive system that uses an electromagnetic differential so by um, when all-wheel drive is needed is when those rear wheels slip it will send electrical current to that electromagnetic differential activating that all-wheel drive system so it can send up to 50 percent of the vehicle's power to the front wheels it also can split the power from left to right it's one of the most advanced all-wheel drive systems you can get in a production automobile. They've been making it for many, many years. Uh, this all-wheel drive system has been in production on Infinity since 2002. Um, and I can tell you, as a 15-year Infinity veteran, I haven't seen too many all-wheel drive systems go bad. I can't think of one example. Very solid system, and it does great in the wet, slippery weather we have in the Pacific Northwest. And with a twin-turbo 300 horsepower V6, it greatly improves your wet weather performance. This car grips and goes. The Q50 uh, has had a number of different engines, but uh, 2016, uh, they did away with the old VQ37 engine, which was aging, a little coarse, not as fuel efficient, so they upgraded it to this new twin turbo, v, excuse me, VR30 V6. Makes 300 horsepower, very fast, fe features direct injection. The latest in gasoline engine technology, it sends highly pressurized gas directly into the combustion chamber. That generally improves fuel economy, uh, lowers emissions, and gives you more horsepower. Features uh, maintenance-free timing chain, so you never need to worry about the cost replacement of timing belts. Timing belts can be very expensive to replace, especially in a luxury vehicle or a performance vehicle, which is a little bit more complex. Uh, you don't have to worry about that in the Q50. And thanks to platinum tip spark plugs, uh, the first major tune-up is not till 105,000 miles. Being uh, certified pre-owned, this has a six-year, 75,000-mile um, uh, certified warranty. So uh, the way the certified warranty works is it covers a lot more than the basic powertrain warranty. It doesn't quite cover as much as the factory bumper to bumper, but it's pretty much as close as you can get as far as an extended uh, warranty goes to being as close to the bumper. The bumper. And it, I can tell you it covers a lot more then it doesn't. Um, of course, you can contact us or visit infinityusa.com and their certified pre owned section. You can get a full list of what uh, the certified warranty uh, covers. And of course, you can also upgrade it to the Elite Wrap, which uh, covers a lot more uh, past 100,000 miles. Uh, thanks for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully, we see you in our store very soon and have a wonderful day.